one of them was, where did the idea for the exhibition come from? And as Sarah has pointed out, Neal organized a series of exhibitions, two shows in particular from one distinguished private collection. And when the 400th anniversary of Hudson's Voyage of the Hudson and the combination of the Hudson 400 and the New York State Quarter Centennial came along, we at the Society, of course, being at the end of the river, at the mouth of the river, are participating in a number of programs in the New York City area. But it was a very timely call from Neal saying that it's one of those wonderful situations where he said, I have a grant. I need a show. And I said, well, why don't you tell me what you're looking for? And he called because he knew that the Society is extraordinarily rich. How many of you have been to the New York Historical Society? This is something, OK, that's reasonably respectable. Well, I'll expect you all now. This is a teaser. Please visit us when you're in New York next time. But he knew we were deep and rich in Hudson River School paintings, American landscape paintings. So he said, I need an exhibition of about 45 to 50 oil paintings of subjects in New York State. And they should be subjects that, if possible, are pretty precisely identified. It's sort of somewhat topographically specific. So I said, well, I said, before I start to look in storage, can you tell me whether there would also be funds as part of your project budget for conservation? And he said, yes, there would. So I said, all right, I'll call you back in a week. And so I did. And we were launched. He came down. Sarah, did you come with him? I think this is pre-Sarah. He came down. We looked at the pictures. And we shook hands. It was a deal. And it was a deal that was very, 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 very